Hi, jewelry lovers. It's Cindy. I thought I'd do my last video from Kansas. We just got back from my last sister getting her tattoo. Two of us did it on Tuesday and the other one today. And as I said before, we all got the same tattoo in memory of my older sister that we lost last year in the end of August. And I just wanted to go over the haul, all the things that I got while I was here that weren't in a jar. I got quite mostly jewelry, but a couple of other things. So all this came from several stores and all together on everything. I spent probably maybe around $70, but I got quite a bit of, of jewelry here. So I'm going to go over it one piece at a time. First, I, a couple of pieces I may have already showed you. I think I showed you this tie. I think I paid like $2.49 for this. It's a Jerry Garcia 100% silk um, wetlands too. And my husband wanted that one, obviously. I knew he would. I would, would never get that one posted. He has a couple of other Jerry Garcia ties, and he's actually got a Jerry Garcia tattoo, so figured I'd never get that one um, past him. This came from uh, an estate sale. It's a... Um, raffia with lucite beads i think i already have this one posted and cat's eye fastener it was in really good condition i've got a couple of things shoved in there but the liner everything is like new so i already have that posted on etsy when i get home i'll cross post it on ebay and probably poshmark and from that same estate sale i got this which i think i've already shown you it's a um, native Alaskan scrimshaw belt buckle and when I it has the original tag um, and I think it's on either um, walrus ivory or narwhal um, tusk I haven't figured that out yet the tag does tell me the artist I'm um, looking that artist I haven't found that particular artist yet but it looks like it is from the Tlingit region and the artist name it looks like Ross Shelley or Sheely or Sneely I can't tell but I think it's Sheely so if anybody is familiar with that and happens to see this video leave me a comment if you know anything about that artist but I got a really good deal on this at the estate sale I did I just did a package deal because he knew his stuff so I knew you know when they know what they have you're not going to get a really good deal unless you um, bundle so I bundled up some stuff so I'll show you all the stuff I got from him first so I got that and then next I got this Coro duet brooch uh, most of you because you love joy the way I do have probably seen this where it comes apart I'll show you real quick how it comes apart um, and becomes like a you just open it up here well, I thought I knew how to take it apart. Let me figure this out. Don't want to break it. Oh, yeah, I'm grabbing the wrong spot. Ah. There you go. You just fold those in, and this comes off. And then you have either shoe clamps, or I guess they fit on the collar. You, know, you can wear them, I guess, either way, or a dress as like a dress clamp, but that's pretty nice, and it has all the original stones, no missing stones. A couple of them were set in there kind of crooked, so I reset them and straightened them out, but um, yeah, that, that came in pretty nice condition, and I'll put that back together later. Then also, I got from there, I'll just show you the cheaper stuff first. This was not marked, but I thought it was really cute. It's a cocktail brooch. It doesn't have any markings on it, but it's got kind of peridot green um, crystals hanging off of it, and then a little green cherry and a lime, so I guess supposed to be a margarita, but I thought that was really cute, and I have that already posted on Etsy, and I'll cross post that too when I get home. Next, I got just a couple of these collared type necklaces from the 50s, 60s. They're not marked, and they have the, um, they're also like lucite uh, moon glow, I think they call those, and they have the hook clasp, the vintage hook clasp, but I 
did research on these because I already had a couple of these type of necklaces, same exact type that belonged to my grandmother. And I think they're from like 50s, 60s. And I got two of those. I got that one that sort of has um, fall colored leaves on it. I don't know how well these would sell, but I like them, so I got them. I have them posted for pretty cheap. I'm not asking much for it. And then this one, which is the same exact. The other one was silver. This one's more gold tone. And it has sort of a teardrop. And then it has some accent cat's eye beads there. The glass cat's eye beads. And the same sort of vintage hook. And this one does not have any markings. But it's made similar to a Lisner that I have at home. And then I got this brooch. It is not marked. But I like the... Um, I like the... The, uh, I like the whole thing, the musical motif of it. And it has what looks like some kind of conservatory building here. And I googled that, but I couldn't really find a facade on it. Um, conservatory or museum that resembled that. But I did look like performing art schools and stuff like that. But like I said, I think I already have this posted for like eight, nine bucks or something. But I thought that was really cute. And then next, I got this, which is, um, this is Vermeil Silver, uh, I think 12 or 10. Let me look here real quick. Can't remember what carrot it was, but uh, let me see what it says. And this one is, does have a mark. It has a little, um, uh, jade bead right there. And it is... Winnered and I looked up Winnered and they actually do sell pretty well, but it is 12 carat um, gold plated over silver and I have that listed too already and Winnered stuff actually does pretty well and it's no longer in business. I believe I'll have to um, look at that, but I don't think Yeah, there's no copyright on this so I think it was made before 1955. No copyright. So that I thought was pretty good. And then next, this I got for myself just because it's my birthstone. This is a sterling silver. And it is marked um, sterling 925. And it, oh, I guess it says China. But it's marked 925 sterling. And it has... Some initials, looks like S-J-M maybe, or F-J-M. I don't know, I'll have to look at that better later. But it actually is set with, kind of pave set with uh, Peridot, my birthstone. And then it has some marcasites up there. But this I bought for myself. It's uh, kind of a slide pendant. I have a couple of nice chains I'll put that on. But I really like that, so I got that. These all came from, what I'm showing you now, all came from the same same state sale. Then I've got a bunch of silver chains that I've got in jars. So I got this um, silver pendant and it is marked 925 and it has what looks either a 3 or a backwards E and S and then a stamp that is a half looks like maybe a half moon stamp. I'm going to look that up when I get home but it has solid on one side and it has filigree on both sides and on the front. So I thought that was kind of a nice pendant. And it has a really nice filigree bail. So that, I love that. So I'll find something to put that on and then I'll get it posted. And then next I have um, this Florida de -lis. This is sterling also. And it has initials on it too. Of, I think it had a maker's initials. Let me see. Um, no, actually, well, I, this was one I couldn't read. It does say sterling. I see the sterling. And it looked to me like a pendant because it has the, the bail, but the bail goes down into like a clip and then it has the brooch. You can see that it, it's a clip. I thought it was a, just the pendant brooch combination. The guy told me, and I don't know if he knows what he was talking about on this, said it was for a pocket watch clip. So I don't know if anybody else knows 
if this is just a combination pendant brooch or a pocket watch let me know haven't had time to research it yes but as you can see this still has the patina on it and I will verify that all this stuff is silver because I do know that you know you get stuff all the time that is 925 but when you check it it really isn't and this was one of my favorite things I got from that same estate sale this is kind of a wedge wood you can't really see well it's not really it's sort of a gray background kind of a gray blue and this is Victorian and this is marked um, vermil so it is I think 12 carat and it does have a little bell on it to wear it as a pendant too and the bell I kind of like this the bell folds down out of the way and it it looks like most of the plating is gone you can only see the plating unless I clean it and it shines gold but I'm not going to clean this I think I'm going to leave it like it is as you can see how aged it is but this is Victorian so I thought this was really nice and that I will eventually post. I'll do a little bit more research on it and then I'll post it. And then these, and I didn't pay much for them so I'm not going to um, worry about it, but I bought it this because I thought they were Park Lane. It was in a Park Lane box and you know, as you know Park Lane can be kind of pricey. But it was in the box. They're even on a Park Lane card and I didn't have my glass or my magnet or anything with me that day. So when I got home and did have my glass and went to look at it, I see an Avon mark on it. So I don't know if Avon ever made for Park Lane or vice versa, if they were ever connected in any way. But they, the earrings look brand new as if they've never been worn. So I don't know if maybe they just got stuck in this box. Um, if anybody knows if Avon and Park Lane ever had any kind of association, let me know. But like I said, the earrings look new. Um, they, they look like they have never been worn. And they were on this card, so I don't know if you just put it on there. I think I paid less than a dollar for them. So, you know, even if they're not Park Lane, I don't, don't really care at that point. And then this is one of my favorite things I got at that estate sale. These are Native American they're sterling and near as I can tell they are um, Navajo maybe I saw some very similar also with the 925 and then the initials QT um, so yes yeah, near as I can tell those are Navajo and this looks like onyx or either black coral haven't figured that out yet I'll look closer at that but those that may be black coral right there everything else is sterling and this stone you can't really see it on camera but it has sort of a reddish color to it it looks black but it's really sort of reddish so I don't know if that's amber or what that is at first I thought they were onyx but when I got them home and looked at them you can see that they're sort of red so it may be like a cherry red amber but I'll figure that out later but these are the favorite thing I found there so those will get posted eventually too Okay, so that's all from that estate sale. And then next I found this at a thrift store. I don't know if anybody remembers these boxes, these wood boxes from like the 70s. They have the um, bone or mother of pearl inlay on the top and they're all carved. Well, I found two of these at a thrift store. And they're lined blue liner. They have a slightly different design like a slightly different carving um, but they both are very similar looking you know they're both lined in blue so they look like and they have the same similar kind of flower but they look like they're in good condition and I actually had a couple of these in the 70s myself in different sizes and I think I may still have one somewhere at home so anyways these are going to go on and I paid for this has $4.99, but I think it was Red Tag Discount Day at the Goodwill, so I got a little bit of a discount. I don't remember what I paid, but it was less than that. And that was the only thing I got at that store. Then at the Salvation Army, I think the rest of what I got came from the Salvation... No, wait a minute, I take that back. This came from an, um, like an indoor swap meet kind of thing, like an antique mall. 
I may have already showed you this, but this I thought was really cute, and I think I paid um, like three bucks for this. But all of the stones are there, and it's made of brass. I think I already have this posted too, and it's got some aurora borealis and seed beads, like um, turquoise color seed beads, and it is pretty nice. It's in really good condition. All of the joints everywhere are soldered. So instead of putting like double hoops like they do normally when they when they'll hook jewelry together like that, like heavy things, they'll put a double um, ring in there, but they there's one, but they're soldered. So and it does not have a maker's mark, but I thought it was really cute. And I know for some reason owls are really popular right now. So I went ahead and went for that. And then next I got this um, uh, let's see, Sarah Coventry, let me make sure it's Sarah Coventry, I got this Sarah Coventry um, strawberry brooch, it's in really good condition, I've seen a couple of other ones like this online, so this must be a fairly popular Sarah Coventry, but like I said, I didn't pay much for it, I think like a dollar, so that will get posted, I think that's already posted, and then next at that same intake mall, I found this silver it's I don't know if you can see it on the screen but one elephant is silver one is gold and the trunks are upturned it's in perfect condition this is Liz Claiborne so that I think I already have posted on my Etsy and then next I got this choker at the same antique mall it has a topaz either glass or crystal stone I haven't figured that out yet but it has a really nice long stone it's probably about an inch long rectangle shape and it has has some nice facets in it and the facets look really crisp so I think it's a crystal rather than glass usually the facets on glass are a little smoother because generally most time they're molded and not cut so it has a little bit of um, tarnish on it so I'll try and clean that off when I get home and that's what the back looks like and it does not have any kind of maker's mark but I thought that was really cute and then this I bought from just a I think I paid like 80 cents for this and this came from a different um, thrift store I think it was called I, I can't remember. I don't know why I can't remember the name of these, but this was not a Goodwill. It was just sort of a local. And it, on the back, it says Made in England, and it is a bone china, and it is in really good condition. It, there's no chips or anything, so and I think I already have that posted. And that um, this is definitely vintage, has a vintage style um, on the back so yeah and then, like I said I am going to do and that was all from that place now next this was from the Salvation Army where I've been getting all of the jars I think we did seven or eight jars from there and this I bought as a set now, originally they wanted eight bucks for this but this was um, one of the things that was getting ready to go in a jewelry jar and this was 75 percent off so I think I ended up paying um, under two dollars for it because I got even a better discount at the register for it but everything was marked down in their case anywhere between 25 and 75 percent off but this is a and they don't really go together but they have them sold as a set and this looks like I'll test this when I get home but this looks like it could be sterling it is not marked but and this actually looks older than the bracelet, but I'm going to check it when I get home. The bracelet is a lobster claw, and it's a little more modern. It does have some tarnish, but it is not marked, so I'll check that when I get home, too, to see if that's silver. And then another set, this is um, halite, uh, dyed halite. It is, I think I might already have this posted on Etsy, too, but it fairly large size um, round like donut shaped and then horseshoes but this is really cute and this came with a set of pair of earrings 
but the earrings are they really don't go with it but they were selling it as a set so um i now, thought i thought that was kind of cute and i think i only paid a couple of dollars for that too and then next i got this because it reminded me of my sister sorry that's the dog hey jake stop and then this uh, is a frog brooch pendant, hey, combination pendant, and they it's that best Max. brand the from China and like imported, but the chain does not I'll actually go crazy. with it, but they had it on there. The chain has a mark on it, and I haven't identified this yet, so if anybody recognizes this, it is has an M. It looks like an M with an I or a one superimposed over it. I don't know if I can get it up there close enough where you can see it. And I've seen that mark somewhere. I just cannot remember. Yeah, you can sort of see it there. So if anybody recognizes that mark, leave a comment. And next I have uh, just this bracelet kind of steampunk bracelet and it has a mark on it that i can't identify yet it looks like maybe it's a and this i paid like a dollar for it has a mark in there and i can't read it it almost is in the shape of an elephant with the trunk but it looks like b-e-r or g-e-r or something like that so if anybody recognizes that mark let me know and then the same store, this um, brooch, it's hand painted on ceramic and it has a vintage um, pin on it too. So that's, that's nice. I don't have that pump um, yet, but you can tell that it is not a decal. It is actually hand painted. And then I got this, and I believe this was at the same store. This is a Monet, and it does have the copyright. So I think I saw a couple of these online, but I thought I liked this. I thought it was nice. It's in really good shape. And then I got this, and this is, um, oh gosh, it's escaping my brain right now. It has a stamp in it, the PD with the crown and the thorns. Um, Premier Designs. This is Premier Designs. I saw, seen, I saw a couple of these on, well, one of these, just like this, but it looked like the cabochons on the one I saw were out of order. They had a couple of pink ones so in a row, so it looked like somebody had replaced the cabochons on it. But this is Premier Designs, and I may have already posted it, or at least have pictures taken care of it. But it has the box class, so it is vintage. So that will get posted soon, and if it's not already. So next I have this, which sort of reminded me of 1928 style jewelry, but it's not marked 1928. It does have, let's see, oh, I just found a mark. It has, oh, the NTR on it. So it doesn't say Avon anywhere, but I know everybody always says that NTR mark is Avon, but... I don't know, usually when it's Avon, it says Avon and NTR. But anyways, I thought that was really cute. So I'll probably put that in a lot with some other um, Avon or 1828 jewelry. And next I have this, which I thought was really cute. Not sure what metal this is yet. I'll check it when I get home. But it's marcasite stones, and the stones are missing, and it has cat's eye cabochons and little glass beads. But it is, um, yeah, I didn't find any kind of marks on it anywhere. It almost looks like it could be silver, so I'll check it when I get home. Anyways, it has a class, which means, I mean, a lobster claw, which means it was made sometime after 1990. I don't think, it looks like maybe from from the 90s, sort of a 90s style necklace. So anyways, that I really liked and I like the pink, so that's why I got that. And then next, I don't think that this chain actually belongs with this pendant. And this pendant was not marked anywhere, but I really like the pendant. 
and the chain is not marked either. But I really like the pendant. It, it's an agate. It's um, um, a fern agate. It's sort of the yellow and orange agate, not the green um, moss agate, but it looks like a, a moss agate. And next, I got this. Um, I picked that up after watching Angie and Tanya um, talk about all of the styles that are going to be in from the 80s for the fall, like multiple chains and large link chains. So I don't know if I already showed you this. I might have, but that I bought individually at the same Goodwill. Okay, and then last but not least is this. And I believe that they put this on here, that this does not come with the necklace. Kind of did a crappy job of putting it on there, whoever did. But I was more interested in the beads because I think they're um, Venetian glass beads. And it has a really old vintage clasp. And the clasp looks like it might be silver. I'll check that. I don't see any marks on it anywhere, but it looks like it could be silver. But I believe these are handmade beads, Venetian glass. So I'll do a little more research on that. But that's the last, and I'll probably take this off, even though this is a nice pendant. I, like I said, I don't think it goes on there. I think somebody just put it on there because it had similar colors. But that will come off. And um, I'll probably just post the beads by themselves. But nice beads. Anyways, that's everything that I bought individual um, that did not come in a bag since I've been here in Kansas. And this will probably be the last video before I leave. You want to say, come say hi real quick, Crystal, to everybody? Come say hi. Crystal just got out of the pool. Crystal's had a rough day, so we let her go for a swim. Come on over and say hello to everybody. Say hi. Get up there and say hi. Come here. Say hi. hi. So this will probably be the last time you see Crystal for a while till I come visit again. So that's it, everybody. I will um, see you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell icon. And we will see you next video. Thank you.